Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and today we're going to be taking a fast flash look at five of my very favorite travel trailers out there with no slides. If you're looking for something simple, small, light, easy, and less expensive, take a look because this is going to be a really good place to start. And we are kicking things right off today with one of the most popular series of trailers out there, a Grey Wolf 22 MKSE by uh, Cherokee. This is an awesome family camper whether it's going to be your very first trailer whether you're upgrading from a pop-up or if you're just really not sure what all you want to get into it's a great way to kind of dip your toes in before diving out there but the thing is this is so good you may find you don't need to swap out you've got tons of sleeping space just enough living to get you through a rainy day and with any Cherokee you always have a surprising number of really nice features like that 12 volt fridge a battery tending solar package a rear view camera and a bunch of other good things she comes in about 4,395 pounds, and if you're looking for your first camper, or maybe upgrading from something like a pop-up or a hybrid, you got a half-ton pickup for towing, I think you're going to like what you see here. It's the 22 MKSE Grey Wolf here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, member of the Cherokee RV family, one of the biggest names in camping out there nowadays. And really, they kind of have been for a couple years. If what you're looking for is like, I, I just I just need something, I can feed my family, we can take a quick shower, I need to sleep everybody, but other than that, we're gonna be outside, we're gonna be getting dirty, adventuring around. That's exactly where this one comes in. And something I think a lot of people are going to like about it is under the bunks, instead of kind of forcing a camp kitchen, uh, kitchen, 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 yeah, kitchen, camp kitchen on you. There we go, a little Midwestern accent action. Um, <laughs> obviously, I don't edit my footage. They give you just tons of storage. You've got big storage under the front master bed. You got big storage under the bunks. You got, frankly, pretty decent storage inside, a dedicated pantry, 12 volt compressor fridge, all kinds of good things here. Like I said, I don't care if it's gonna be your first one or just your next one. You're gonna be really happy with what you see here. And frankly, once the kids grow up and you're done with it, little campers like this with good sleeping space, they hold their value very nicely. They're very easy to offload and upgrade. While at first glance, this next one that we're going to look at, the Wildwood 179 DBK, it really just on paper appears to just be a smaller crunched down version of the 22 MKSE Grey Wolf. And in point of fact, it's certainly right along those lines. But it brings the RV down into a smaller, lighter, and more budget-friendly level while bringing in some more creative features. And it's also one of the smallest campers I think I've ever seen where you can find double-double bunks. But what really made it hit this list is the fact that as you see behind us, we can get it two ways. You can get it in the standard series stick and tin, or you can get it in the platinum series fiberglass over here. And sometimes small can still be good looking and just a little bit shiny in the right places. A big hello to the returning members of the RV Nerd Herd, and welcome to the Halet Nation for our first time viewers. Today we've got a 3,375 pound Wildwood bunkhouse here, and this is an amazing layout if you take a look here it is about the smallest you can get a camper that still has surprisingly double over double bunks which little campers don't often have pair that up with the fact that it has no slides so there's just less to monkey with but it's got a seven and a half foot wide body so it feels a little bit bigger than some of the normal tiny campers give it a big door side window and a flip up down front murphy bed that they kind of call a jiffy bed and what you've got here is a dynamite little package uh, add in the fact that we've got that newer, lighter, brighter interior. It makes the whole thing look and feel just way classier. Not to mention the lighter colors make it feel bigger and brighter. And I'm a fan. These things are awesome. Uh, you know, if you like the 178 Wildwood, but you're like, uh, I just don't want a slide out or the slide out adds too much weight or cost, this is going to be your winner right here. Now, at the time of this filming, this is still pretty much a floor plan that's exclusive, or almost exclusive, rather, to Wildwood, but Catalina will be making their version of it. We're expecting that to come out sometime in the early 2021 season. And wouldn't you know it, that's another brand that we have here at Halet RV. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the original before we worry about the photocopy to see why everyone is liking this one so much. Now normally when I make these lists, I like to try to mix things up and I try not to kind of rename the same brand too awful often, but there was one here that really uh, I felt compelled to circle back to. And it might surprise you, because as you can see here, it's got a ramp on the back. That is actually the Grey Wolf 22RR. And the reason I say that is because I have always felt this specific camper 
is so much more than just a toy hauler. I have always looked at this and in my eyes, I've always seen a solo or a couple's camper first with the ability to be um, friend buddy camping friendly or uh, small families giving you the ability to load kayaks and bikes or a motorcycle or a trike, dog kennels. It is such a good camper. It just happens to have a ramp patio on the back and it happens to have a dinette that folds up because other than that, you can do anything you want with this thing. And that's what puts it on the list for me. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Behind us, coming in between 5,000 and 5,100 pounds, the 22RR Grey Wolf. This fits in as an extremely nice option for half-ton towability if you're looking for a little bit of flexibility that a toy hauler can offer. Now what's really cool about this floor plan is I don't even think you have to be looking for a toy hauler. I think this is just a really good couples camper that just happens to have a ramp door on the back. Now it's not extra wide, it's not extra tall. It's what I kind of call a crossover ramper camper which is obviously not a very fancy technical term. But what this does is it gives us the ability to, uh, if, if you want to bring like a motorcycle or something like that, or maybe a trike could potentially fit in here, depending on how big it is and how much, it, uh, how, how you load it. Or even um, non, uh, I think, standard, non-traditional toys like kayaks and e-bikes, dog kennels, if you go to dog shows. This could work for so many different people other than just, I got me a motorcycle. Although, it could absolutely work for the people who got them a motorcycle too. That's what's cool about this one. Now, we're looking at it in the standard series today. This also comes available in the Black Label package. What I would appreciate, watch this video. Um, I will point out the, the good, the bad, the ugly with everything in between. Then take a peek at that Black Label version and let me know kind of which one you prefer and why. And you might notice how this list inadvertently got rather dominated by little stick and tin trailers. That's because they tend to be the most prolific builder of no slide trailers out there. That's not to say there's not some good members of the laminated community. And there's no way, there's no way I could do this list without including one of the Geo Pros on here. And for me, the one that really stuck out was the 19FD. That Murphy bed giving us the space of a slide out without the weight and the cost of a slide out and all the tech and the, the, the newer features that are on this, like the inverter, the solar, the Asdell, the bigger fans, the shower miser, the everything. This is like a Cadillac that's the size of a Ford Fusion. 3,175 pounds, plus minus a little bit, as you see it here today, the ultra popular 19FD Rockwood Geo Pro coming in today at Halet RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd, I'll be your guide today, and if my reputation precedes me, it's potentially because I just have this weird habit of getting ahead of myself, you know? <laughs> Got a lot of fun for you today. This thing is absolutely awesome. It has just a, a laundry list of amazing qualities, like a factory installed 190 watt roof solar package and 1000 watt inverter to get you fully functioning off the grid. All the outlets inside this are wired to that inverter, by the way, not just one or two here and there. Double Asdell walls, Asdell on the inside and outside of those laminated walls on the front rear sidewalls, that uh, now standard off-road package with the axle riser kit getting you up off the ground. It just, it just, this thing just straight rocks. The new 12 volt fridge, all kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, if you like what you see, leave us some comments. Let us know what you like or maybe what you'd like to see different or any questions that you might have, I'll do my best to fill you in along the way. Now, whenever I do these lists, I always like to throw a little honorable mention out there. And it was tricky putting this one together because again, there are plenty of companies that make no slide travel trailers but they often tend to come in very similar floor plans. For, so for me to kind of go through and weigh which one really stuck out, like the 20RD SE Grey Wolf is great. The 16FQ Wolf Pup, the 16BHS Wolf Pup, the 167RBK Wildwood. These are all awesome models. And the one though that really stole the honorable mentions for me and the only reason it's not in the primary list, I suppose, is just due to the fact that unfortunately this year, it was phased out of production, but, reintroduced in a different trim package. Basically, what I used to call the 204RD Freedom Express, now called the 20SE Freedom Express. It is a smart, no slide couples camper, but what I love about it is it has that classic, wholesome, go visit your friends uh, for a day camping feel, go inside, have a drink, play some cards, but 
it, it brings with a lot of modern features that classic little campers didn't tend to have, like Asdell, a taller ceiling, a true queen bed. You know, it's small without feeling small, if that makes any sense. And chances are, once I get a chance to really go through the 20 SE in more detail, you'll probably see it on a similar list if I ever redo this at some point. But for now, a look at the 204 RD, which is now called the 20 SE Freedom Express. Tipping the scales around 4,400 pounds, we have ourselves a 204 RD Freedom Express behind us. But today's video is going to be a little bit different. This model kind of is, but kind of isn't going to be built anymore. This floor plan will continue to exist from Freedom Express. It is moving from their ultralight segment to their uh, special edition series. It's going to become a little simpler, a little more straightforward. It'll become lighter and less expensive. What Freedom Express has found is that uh, people are really looking for a specific budget point in a no slide camper. But we had a really diehard Halid RV viewer who loved this thing, who wanted to get one of these for a while and found out that it was going to be changed. and kind of discontinued, but kind of not discontinued. And they pulled the trigger and said, we have a little window where we can still open one for you. So this specific RV that we're looking at today, first of all, it is a pre-sold uh, RV. So if you're looking for a personal purchase, we can build anything for you. Secondly, I'm recording this footage as really a, a courtesy to the folks who chose to bring their business here to Halo RV, because I'm, I'm sure it's gonna delight them just to see it that much sooner. The other thing, personally really bothered me when they came in to purchase this camper like I'm not in sales but they really wanted to have a chance to chat with me and I just was not available that day kind of like today I had just a whole slug of campers land and I really didn't have the opportunity to break away and I don't like that sometimes it's hard to make a hard decision on your time so I wanted to do them a personal courtesy and really let them see everything here but for you folks what does this video mean for you um, what I'm going to do is point out the general features that will persist as this model evolves into its special edition version, and I will show you what features are going to change along the way. So even though it won't look like this anymore, you'll have a pretty good idea what it will look like. And you know, I've put a few of these together now and I've got some rough notes outlining a few more of these top fives. If this is something you'd like me to continue doing, let me know and I'll get cranking on a few more of these. But this list was easily the hardest I had to populate. You know, uh, when it comes to looking at bunkhouse trailers and, and couples models and stuff, like there was plenty of stuff, but no slide trailers. It's a very specific thing and there's a few that just really do it well and they get very similar very quickly. But when it came to trying to pick out which one I personally felt was like the best value, no slide trailer out there, it kind of jumped out at me right away. And that's the 212 QB J flight. I think uh, the, 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 the combination, the size, the features, the best in class warranty, the Goodyear tires, the ability to enclose the underbelly, to actually put a ladder on the back of it, which almost nobody does. The taller ceiling with central air. There's so many big content features all packed into this thing. It's an open bedroom, but it feels like a private bedroom. It has guest space, but it's also a good privacy camper. Like it does so many things somehow so well in so little space. And that's why to me, this is my number one. Just a bit over the 4,300 pound mark, the very popular no slide little couples camp in 212 QB Jayco here at Halet RV. This one fills a very cool, smart role among our lineup here at Halet's. It gives us a great floor plan for a single RVer or potentially a couples camper. It has some decent living space for a small RV with some really nice window coverage. Being a J Flight, that means it is a member of the number one selling series of travel trailers since 2005 and counting. There's a lot of little best-in-class features that go into these two that really make me appreciate them. When I camp, I tend to camp in a J-Flight myself, so really, not asking you to do anything I haven't done myself or trusted my own money into. I just tend to have a, a bunk model. But the carpetless nature of this one, the taller ceiling, the best-in-class warranty and tires, there's a bunch of really cool, smart features that make this one such a winner. So there you have it folks, that's my top five personal favorite travel trailers with no slides, a couple honorable mentions, and I'd like to know, did I get it right?
Did I get it wrong? I'm always open to feedback. Is there one that I missed? One that you really think should be included? And what else would you like to see? Any other top five kind of stuff? And I can't promise to get to them all, but basically by popular demand is how I'll try to rack a couple of these things out. So as always, check the links in the video description. Everything that we've looked at today and even the couple honorable mentions, I will leave links for them down here where you'll be able to check them out in full gory detail, the way that I tend to be really long-winded and go through this stuff. Or you can just take a look at the quick footage that we have here today. When you're ready, you give our team a call and short of that, Thank you folks very much as always for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of these lists or keep in touch with uh, you know the full tours of these things as they come out. And as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet Camping everyone. Mm -hmm.